All right, thank you very much for joining me. This is Gullpain, uh, back again, waiting for camera to focus. Um, and uh, this video, I'm just gonna do a quick pickups video uh, with just a few games that I got recently. So let's have a quick look. All right, so first up is the old uh, the old Mario Brothers. You can tell um, I haven't, uh, I've got these games ages ago and just haven't put them in a video yet. Um, so it's the old Mario Brothers Game & Watch. So this one has, it just has Super Mario Brothers um, one and it also has Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels, like the really difficult one, and it's got like a Game & Watch game as well. So like, to be honest, there's not too much on it. I mean, they could have put a lot more on it, like, but I don't know, the Nintendo doesn't seem to like, you know, doing things, I don't know what it is, they just like, they put the minimum, um, like it's really cool, like this Game & Watch, and I really like it, and it's really nice to play, but they just seem to do the minimum, like, I don't know. It's still cool though. And so next up is uh, the Simpsons game. So I was actually watching a couple of episodes of The Simpsons and I kind of got a bit nostalgic for it because I was watching like Treehouse of Horror 14 or something. And I was like, oh, The Simpsons game, I used to have that, it was pretty good. But I think I, I can't remember what, what I did with it. I think I've got Simpsons, um, The Simpsons Hit and Run for PS2, but I don't have the actual Simpsons game. And I remember playing it ages ago. Um, it's okay, it's, it's quite difficult, um, particularly like because the, the 3D platforming is like difficult to control on the PSP because of the camera. Um, but it's good, like it's, if you like The Simpsons, it's a good, it's a good game and it's not, too, it's not too bad. Plus there's a lot of different sections in it as well, there's a lot of different levels. The, the variety is quite high. Um, next up is a few Switch games. So this one is a Rad Rogers Radical Edition. Um, so this came out on other um, other consoles as well. I just I just like having I just like having Everton on the Switch. Like I like having these sort of games on the Switch. Not the graphically intensive games where like the Switch just can't run it properly. Um, like like the Outer Worlds I was going to get in the Switch, but then like there's no point getting on Switch because Switch won't be able to run it. Um, and I've heard like a few of the Switch versions of games are the worst. So, but anyway, I like having the I like being able to play it portably and also being able to play on the TV. It's really handy. Um, I could do that with the PS4 and the PS Vita, but it's not the same because you know you've still got the PS4 on so I don't know I just I just really like the switch it's comfortable and it's just my favorite console at the moment and um, this one is pretty good and um, you're a little kid um, and it's really like uh, the humor is really good in it um, I did a little small review of this a while ago because I liked it so much so I did like a two or three minute video review so and um, I talked about it there about quality game Rad Rogers uh, this one I was surprised with is um this gay afternoon of darkness um, uh, this mustn't be this gay part one it must be the this gay or this guy part two or three or something like that but um this one is really good it's like a strategy rpg um but i what i i'm i'm, I'm good that i didn't start um getting into this series sooner because i don't really have time to play it now but um the humor in this is excellent and like i remember being addicted to final fantasy um the War of the Lions, the PSP one, uh, Final Fantasy Tactics, and this is sort of in the same vein, but the humour is like really good in this, it's like um, you're a little demon guy and then your father gets killed so you have to take over and other demons help you, it's it's um, it's really good. There's loads in the series as well, so this is actually a good series to collect for and it's on different systems, so I'm looking forward to getting more, more of these games and actually playing it a bit more as well. Uh, somebody got this for me for my birthday, it's um, Deadly Premonition, so I got the first Deadly Premonition and I started playing it. Um, on Switch as well, and then I, and then I, they got me this one as well to play after I finish it. Um, so you can see I got this in CX. I need to remove that sticker uh, because I hate when there's uh, stickers on the old games. Uh, but this one I haven't tried it yet because I'm still in the middle of um, Deadly Premonition One. I'm just on the part where you have to go up to the hospital and do the autopsy. So I'm not that far into it. Um, I did play Deadly Premonition on the Xbox 360. Um, someone actually got to, got that for me for my birthday as well. Uh, this was like five or six years ago. Um, well, probably longer than that now. But um, yeah, I remember not liking Deadly Premonition at all. But but for some reason on the, the Switch, like I heard it was, they made it a bit better. Because it's a game I want to like, because I really like those sort of, um, those kind of horror games, but like, kind of, it's kind of like Twin Peaks, or there's a, there's a little twist to it. It's not as, as, as horror as Silent Hill, but you know, it's not as actually as Resident Evil. It's somewhere in the middle, like, so I like those sort of games. And uh, next up, I saw this in um, the CX window for um, £35, and I was like, yeah, why not, I'll pick it up. Um, so not not too bad of a price. Actually, I think it's a pretty good, pretty good price. Actually, thirty five pounds because I've seen it more expensive elsewhere. It's got the the steel case, which is empty because uh, it comes with the game case as well. Which I don't know why they just don't give you the steel case. I don't know. That's weird. Give me a steel case and a regular game case. That's strange. And it's got a little um, art book, Pandora's Tower, the art book. So this is Pandora's Tower. So the reason I picked this up, um, I don't, I'm not really. I'm not really a collector of all things Wii, or a, a purveyor of Wii items, but um, the reason I picked this up was um, one of my favourite YouTubers, uh, Games of War, 
um, he featured it on his, um, I think it was like Wii RPGs or like lesser known RPGs, and he said it was really good. Um, I haven't tried it yet because I need to get out the Wii and uh, basically, you know, just, just play some Wii games. But apparently you're, um, you're, uh, you're the hero character in this, the guy, and then the girl, um, you have to go into a tower and you have to keep bringing her back stuff and her, she, her body starts deteriorating so she starts like you know like her skin falls off and stuff as well so you have to keep giving her this thing in order to keep her alive um so apparently it starts getting really like you know later on when when you have to get even more stuff and um, it starts getting uh, um really good like so anyway games war said it was good that's good enough for me so i bought it and a uh, good price as well um a game that i rebought uh, for some reason, I don't know why I bought this. Um, it's Breath of Fire 3. I already have it on the PlayStation 1 in my collection there. But then I saw it for like, I think it was like $7.99 or $6.99 or something on eBay with free postage. And I was like, why not? Um, Breath of Fire 3, I want to start it again because this is my most one of my most beloved RPGs. Like I played this when I was a kid and I loved it. And I played it to death. Um, I did all of the, the battle arena in it as well and got all of the different things and I went around and just like before I completed it and got loads of different things as well. It's such an amazing game and to have it on PSP, um, I imagine it's going to be a bit updated um, than the PS1 version as well. So maybe a little bit better. Maybe there's going to be other content in it. Woohoo. You never know. Um, next up is uh, Super Mario Bros Wii U Deluxe, so someone got this for me um, as a birthday present as well. Um, it's still in the plastic, I haven't opened it. So it's got Super Luigi Bros as well, so for, at first I thought it was going to be like, oh it's probably like, you know, one of those, um, you know when Nintendo give you like a bonus game, but it's like, it's just like Mario Bros from the Atari or something, you know that old fashioned Mario Bros, the, that one, but um, Luigi Bros seems to be just um, a, a, a downloadable um, extra game on this, so this is in the same style as um, Mario Brothers and New Super Mario Brothers on um, Wii and obviously New Super Mario Brothers on DS, so I love that style. A lot of people complain that it's the same game, but I don't mind, um, so looking forward to starting that. Uh, next up is, um, is um, a game that I was looking at. Um, for a while and I couldn't find it on eBay or anywhere else. It's um, Lady Sia. Uh, this is a really, really, really good um, sort of platform, not an RPG, but like a platformer where you kind of, not even a Metroidvania either. It's kind of hard to describe. You kind of have to go around saving, um, I did a little review of this as well. I was so impressed with this game um, and a lot of people that, that commented on that video were like, oh, you know, I love Lady Sia. It's a really good game and I never hear anything about it. So I just bought it. Um, I think it was like £20. So that's a lot for me to spend on a Game Boy Advance game. But um, yeah, really, really good. Really enjoying it and I'm um, looking forward to getting into it. The art style is... Um, it's really difficult to describe. It looks like a 1990s computer game. Like Filimbo's Quest or one of those ones or something like that. Um, so really like the art style. And then last but not least then is uh, Digger T-Rock. So this one uh, came with, it doesn't have the, the styrofoam in it to hold the game in place, but it comes with the game and the dust sleeve and the manual as well. Um, I don't know much about this game. I think it was an arcade game. Um, I'm not sure and it turned it into a NES game, but I need to try it anyway. Digger T-Rock, not sure. I got it for, I got this and um, another one, uh, two for like 18, two for 16 pounds on eBay, so I was like, you know, it's a, a box NES game with the manual, so why not? Eight, eight pounds, like, you know, where are you going to get that um, for that sort of game? I mean, you might, you probably get it cheaper or somewhere else, like, but I was quite happy anyway. Um, so that's, um, that's a few games I got recently. Um, if you've got any uh, games you picked up recently, leave them in the comment section below or leave a link to your pickups video so I can uh, watch it and see what you got as well. Uh, so thank you very much for watching and I appreciate you watching till the end. Listen to me, Nataron, and I will see you in the next video. Adios. Thanks very much.